of someone you love is my main pull as an actor when it comes to this particular role and the, the disappointment of someone that you are really close to in your family who is uh, not really, how can I put this without being crass? Uh, Let's be crass. <laughs> not, not really respecting our partnership and putting that first. So, I think I answered your question. Yes. <laughs> Great. All right. So, what has it been like working with Latoya Luckett, who's playing the like Tracy? She is uh, fantastic. You know, I know that's so cliche for actors to be like, oh, she's great, he's great, whatever. But the truth is, she is uh, professional, and I mean, she's been doing this for a very long time. And she's fantastic, beautiful, prepared. That's all you need. Now, speaking of preparation, how did you prepare for the role? I've been preparing to play a cop for my entire life. Uh, I, I, the irony of this is I'd just gotten a gun at home in L.A., two days before I got this offer. Oh, wow. To play. And I was around the house. This is going to sound weird, but I was around the house, you know, ducking behind, <laughs> ducking behind <laughs> my walls and stuff, <laughs> playing with my dogs, um, you know, while the gun was empty, obviously. But uh, playing around with my... And then two days later, I was like, wow, God, this thing really does work. You can manifest something out of, out of nowhere. <laughs> so I've been preparing for it for my entire life because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I respect our, you know, our service people and police officers uh, for what they do to put your life on the line every single day, sacrifice your individual family um, to help other people that are in need is probably the greatest gift that uh, someone could possibly give. I feel bad that there's so much happening with cops in our society in today's time because what they do at its core is uh, protect and serve. And that's a job that is not for everybody. So it takes a special person to actually fulfill that. So it's something that I've wanted to play and never had the courage to actually do my entire life. So, so what is that transition like, Ben, for your, from your character on the game mm -hmm. to a thriller like this one now? What has that been like? You know what? Um, honestly, for me, my character on the, he, he, you know, he died with the show. Um, I, I played that character for 10 years. And it was more than long enough to get everything. I felt like I squoze everything I could out of them from, you know, a cancellation to a resurgence. I think we really milked that cow as much as possible. So um, the transition to film, I will tell you, is something that I marvel at because it's such a, a patient uh, process. It's way more patient than TV. And to learn, like, we're shooting like six pages a day. I'm like, I can shoot six pages in my sleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I'm used to doing maybe 20 or 30 pages a day at times. So uh, this is a really patient uh, and, and more forgiving in ways, but unforgiving uh, on screen because you don't get another chance to do it after it's done. Like in TV, so which do you like more? Most people say they like television more because there's more money in it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, for that reason, then, yeah, yeah. Uh, but for as far as the craftsmanship, which do you prefer? As an actor, I think that film is, as I was saying, it's it's a far more patient medium when it comes to uh, the process of of acting. You can really dig in. Um, a little bit more, and there's not so much of a, a time crunch as much as it, as it is on television. Um, so for me, it feels good to not get back into the race and do something that keeps me racing, you know what I mean? I yeah. So what about going from the comedy to a thriller? How does that feel? Uh, going from a comedy to a thriller. Let me think about that. Our show was quite dramatic at times. Um, <laughs> so towards the end, I felt like we, uh, I felt like we needed more comedy, okay. you know, so it was almost like it was just a drama, like a half hour drama. Right. So doing a drama uh, after the game, it feels like, uh, it feels like I'm doing something that I kind of always wanted to do in a way, okay. the dramas. You know. Okay. Because you're so particular about the type of roles that you would accept, <laughs> how far into reading the script did you know, like, okay, I'm doing this? Uh, 
this uh, was something that I'd taken a break from acting for a while, for a couple of years, because I went back to school, to film school, uh, after being on the game for such a long time, from, I think, 24 to 34. Um, I felt like I really wanted to learn more about the business that I work in, because being an actor, it can be very, uh, not one-dimensional, but you're in your own world. You're focused on what you contribute to the, the process. And there were times where I'd look up and I still didn't know what everybody did right. on set after all that time because it's kind of hard to go back and learn after you thrust yourself into the mix of it. Right. So I wanted to learn more about the structure of what this thing is that I'm in that I'm spending the rest of my life in. Right. And so during that time, I, uh, I realized that I liked other things in this business. I liked other jobs in this business. I appreciated things a lot more. So when I got this, after I finished uh, school at uh, UCLA, I immediately wanted to, you know, use what I learned. And not for the sake of being an actor, but for the sake of experiencing people in their positions, appreciating right. all, you know, this world. you're looking at the lighting. I'm looking at everything. And I just respect it a lot more than I did before, uh, knowing that my piece of the pie isn't all that matters right. to you know, what, what we see on TV and in film. So I really was hoping that I would get the opportunity to do some good work. And then when this came across uh, my agents, I was like, okay, well, this is, a, this is a really good script. You know, it won the film festival uh, during this, uh, the writer's portion of that film festival. It was ABFF, I think. Yeah. And so um, it was just right. And Leah Daniels called, and I was like, okay, great. So does that make you a more critical as an actor? Because now you're looking at the gaffer, the lighting, um, the production. Like you're looking at more of the production quality. It's it's not the acting that made the difference, but it was just a personal thing for me to know more about this world. So I didn't change much as an actor because I've always appreciated the craft of acting, um, but I appreciate it more so everybody around me a right. lot more personally. What aspect of your character, Mike, do you want the audience to appreciate? The fact that he is a loving father who has a real heart. The thing that resonated most with me was that, I mean, not father, husband, I'm saying father. A loving husband that uh, has a, a, a real desire to discover the truth versus a lot of cops or a lot of detectives and investigators uh, they're emotional people who investigate emotionally. I've discovered that you can be a logical investigator or an emotional investigator. And, you know, Mike is all about the facts. He's all about the proof. And then when you in insert his wife into it, um, it tows the line of what it means to be a cop because it's personal, it's in your own home. And um, so I would like for people to take away the fact that his uh, skill set is uh, it, it trumps his relationships in a way or his emotion in a way he's concerned about the facts and that's it if you weren't on screen um acting what would be the other role that you would want to do directing that is the next thing that okay. i will do directing. It's, it's the plan okay. um because yeah. because you played a football player for a long time and you've expressed your admiration for the cops what would be your take on what's happening on the field? Oh, you know, I really try to respect anybody's um, peaceful protesting. And, and I'm one that believes just for humanity within itself, if you aren't doing anything to hurt anybody else, then you should have the right to express yourself however you choose. Times are not just changing, you know, in the, in the climate of us personally and injustices and on the field, but times are changing. You know, we have people who are transitioning to, you know, different sex and, you know, it's, it's so much change that's happening in today's time that I believe humanity, I was actually talking about this earlier, I believe humanity, one of our purposes as humanity is to further accept who God created us as, as individuals. And I believe it goes back to that, you know, any injustice um, in today's time, whether it be 
on the job. You know, we see a lot of things happening with people, you know, sexually inappropriate acts happening on jobs and things. I think all these things now are being revealed so we can heal as a society and as humanity. So I think it's a great thing that people use their job and their voice to peacefully protest about something that they feel is not right about humanity. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. He's got to get back to set.